Hey everybody, my name is Julia Simon. I own a business in Charlotte, North Carolina called Nourish Charlotte. We do gorgeous vegan gluten-free fare. And I'm gonna share my five favorite tips for you for eating veg and feeling good this summer. So one thing to think about is eating fruit during the summer, right? We kind of forget how delicious and refreshing and light and airy uh, fruit can be, right? So fruit kind of packs in a lot of vitamins. You get a lot of water with that meal and you also get calories, easy to burn sugars and things that can kind of fuel your workout or your hangout, whatever it is. But yeah, I'd say eat some fruit this summer. Come back to it, pineapple, watermelon, melons are beautiful, grapes, whatever you like. So we live in a day and age where we have so many cool things that vegans can throw on the grill, right? So we have Beyond Sausages, which are beautiful. Um, we have Field Roast, we have all these different brands that are coming into the market and making gorgeous things that are amazing on the grill. So experiment, right? Your local store, every store has a meat substitute now that'll be beautiful on the grill. And maybe even throw in some vegetables in there, get some vitamins that way, mix it up with the plant-based proteins. So a third tip for eating well and feeling good this summer on a vegan diet is um, starting to think a little bit about your sodium intake, right? As a culture, as a country, we eat so much sodium, pickles, salt, french fries, we do so much when it comes to salt. And I think that um, it's easy to kind of forget that it's a stressor on your system. It can bring up your body temperature, it can um, raise your blood pressure, right? And it can, you know, you're, you're hanging out in a park, like having a really great picnic with friends and you, you feel kind of puffy, you feel kind of hot. A lot of times that's due to too much salt intake. So starting to pay a little more attention, look at nutritional labels and really kind of think about it a little bit. My fourth tip or a fun idea, something to experiment with on the grill this summer is grilling pizza or grilling breads. So um, gluten-free or gluten-containing, it doesn't really matter, but the grill wants to create that beautiful smoke flavor and bread wants to just suck it up, right? It, eat, it eats it, I like to say, right? So you can start out with some fresh made pizza dough and just toss it on there, brush it with a little oil and just toss it on the grill, get some grill marks on it, top it, and then um, with you know any toppings or cheese of your choice and just leave it on there until it gets nice and crusty on the bottom. It'll be kind of more like a flatbread, but it's super delicious. And if you're doing burgers or if you're doing tacos or anything on the grill too, don't be afraid to throw those buns right there on the grill, get nice little toast marks on them too. And corn tortillas are amazing when they're grilled over an open flame. So another tip on my fifth for eating well and having a great summer, um, you can get vitamins and minerals and good things for you into your diet by adding a little something to your water, right? So one of my favorite beverages is um, our spirulina limeade. So we squeeze a little fresh lime in there, we put just a little bit of maple syrup in there, and then we add a dash of spirulina, and that gives you omega-3s and things that are really good for thinking in your brain, and it just like helps with your metabolism overall. It also tastes really great. But something else to think about when we're drinking all this water and trying to stay hydrated is ice. So a lot of times in the summertime, we're like really, really hot, and we really want to just drink this huge tumbler full of ice, and there's all this cold, cold water. So it feels really good going in, right, because it drops your core body temperature as it goes down to your stomach, but it does stress your body, right? So your body's like, oh my gosh, I'm really cold. And so it starts trying to like heighten your body temperature to compensate. So try this summer maybe to drink things that are closer to the ambient temperature around you, right? Maybe not ice water, maybe water that was stored in the fridge instead. So those are my five tips for eating veg and feeling good this summer, and I hope you try them and enjoy them.